What's going on guys? Stevie from the Minimasters here and I'm back down at the dyno again to test yet another horsepower, I will call it myth, removing the fan clutch and going to an electric fan. So guys, if you've no doubt heard, switching to electric fan should free up some valuable horsepower that is otherwise sucked by your engine's clutch fan. Now, let's take a look at this real quick. So right here, we're looking down at the front of the engine. So normally there is a clutch fan bolted right here. I've taken the liberty of removing it. It's that heavy hunk right there. And supposedly, it has a parasitic drag on the engine that is supposed to suck, you know, five horsepower, 10 horsepower, even some people say 15 horsepower. So today, we're gonna test on the dyno and see if it actually does suck some horsepower away. Let's test this. All right guys, so we just finished our dyno run without the heavy parasitic clutch fan and we actually gained four horsepower over our baseline test this morning of 153, and we gained three foot pound of torque over our baseline test of 231. Not only that, but the RPM range was affected the whole way through. So those gains were not met at peak horsepower, which would normally up here in the upper RPM range. It was actually made the entire length, which is that blue line that you can see peaking above the pink line. So this is actually a worthwhile mod doing if you can source an electric fan for cheap. Now, four, uh, you know, foot pound of, uh, three foot pound of torque and four horsepower may not seem like a lot, but that's at the wheel. So at the crank, you're seeing a probably eight to 10 horsepower increase. So there actually is some parasitic drag caused by the fan. So anyway, guys, that's all for me. I really hope you like this video. Hit the subscribe icon over here. Check out some of my other videos. I have other dyno test videos on there you'll like. I'm Stevie from the Midmasters. Thanks for watching.